That's the cheapest follow focus I could find on AliExpress. And yeah, it was cheap. Roughly 30 bucks plus shipping. 30 of the price of the small rig equivalent. So yeah, it was cheap and roughly has everything that you want from a follow focus. But does it? Was it worth it? Should I go with the small rig in the first place, for example? Well, let's find out. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for it. I can say whatever I want. That's the cheapest follow focus and this is exactly what you get in the box. The follow focus itself with the mount on the standard 15mm rods and the lens ring. Let's begin with the original lens ring because well this is most probably the weakest part of the set. What you are supposed to do is you're supposed to adjust the diameter of the ring, put it on the lens and then lock it in place with the thumb screw. However, Mine is not really circular. Probably it got squeezed in the transportation and now this is egg shaped. So when you try put it on the lens, well, it's not really like aligned with the focus ring on the lens. Yeah, it's there. But look, look what's the distance between the ring and the lens over here and over here. This is why this is rather a no-no. If you really would like to use this thing, then get yourself something like that, a rubber lens ring with the diameter that fits the lenses you will be using with this thing, or try to print yourself one. In my case, that was not a requirement because the only lens with which I'm using the follow focus is the Make It 25 millimeters f1.8 and this rubber ring fits the lens perfectly so i do not really have this problem that was the ring let's talk about the follow focus itself over here we have a clamp and a thumb screw that allows you to install this thing on the standard 50 millimeter rods just slide it in put it into position and tighten with the thumb screw. Here we have another thumb screw that allows you to adjust the height on which the follow focus gear lifts. Put it in place, tighten with your fingers and you are done. And the main gear of the follow focus. Those metal elements over here are only a decoration. They do not allow you to stop the knob in any of the position because there is nothing on the main knob that is able to interact with those metal stingies. And finally, we have the main gearbox of the follow focus. When you turn the knob with your hand, then the motion is transferred to the ring, which interacts with the ring on the lens. And yeah, manual focus, when you are able to do it like that, is much, much, much nicer, efficient and smoother than reaching to the lens ring from the top of your camera. Before we will put it on the camera ring, let me show you one more thing. There are two screws on the main gearbox. If you remove one of them and then pry this thing open, you have access to the main gears. Two metal gears that translate the rotation of the main knob 90 degrees to the rotation of the ring that interacts with the lens itself. And here, inside of this compartment, there should be some of the grease that allows for the smooth movement. I have no bloody idea what they put inside and why they put it so much, but when the follow focus arrived, it was almost impossible to rotate the main knob. Only after I removed like two thirds of this glue grease, whatever from the inside, the knob is actually turning smoothly. When that's all clear, let's go to the main part, which is installation and usage. This follow focus works only if your camera rig has standard 15 millimeter rods. Then just slide it in, adjust the horizontal position, tighten on the bottom, adjust the height of the follow focus so it interacts with the lens ring, tighten everything and voila! If you did everything correctly, from this moment on you can adjust the focus with the follow focus, which let's be honest is much nicer than reaching to the focus ring on the lens itself. Focus farther away from the camera, focus closer to the camera and that's the whole magic of the follow focus. Verdict? Well, it works. Not great, not terrible. For 30 bucks you get the quality that you paid for. That means not too much of it. Original lens gear is absolute crap. Like really well 
No, using this thing makes absolutely no sense. But if you get yourself a better lens ring or even maybe 3D print one from the TPU, then yeah, the cheap follow focus becomes usable. Not really the best quality out there, but it's even okay to use. Okay, as long probably as you never really use the real quality, good quality and <sighs> expensive professional follow focus. But as a first one, just to check it out, it is absolutely okay for the amateur level. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy filming.